United States player being given away. Well, hello and welcome to the sixth edition of the Future Stars Finals from Shenzhen. First up, we have what should be a super under-14 final for you as the two top seeds in the draw come together as 14-year-old Canadian Kayla Cross takes on the young American 13-year-old Clervy Gunaway. Of course, it's the first time that this has been played in Shenzhen. Of course, all the previous ones have been in Singapore, but we are in China for the first time for the Shiseido WTA Finals. Sophie Amiak is alongside myself, Pete Rogers. And uh, how have you found it so far in this wonderful new city? It's fabulous. I mean, the site is beautiful, and uh, those players who are the future stars, and we're going to show us a little bit of, uh, you know, some of the tennis they've been playing throughout the whole week here to qualify and uh, finish here. The last two of the 14 and under. They played outside, so now they have to acclimate to the indoor for the final. But uh, what a prestigious and uh, great experience this is for those two young ladies. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of people watching this thinking, well, these two could be here in the WTA Finals for real in the next few years or so. The, the player you're looking at there, Clevy Gunaway, the Orange Bowl under-12s champion from a, a year or so ago. It also won the Easter Bowl. So she wants to be the world number one in the ITF junior rankings come the end of next year. Yep, that's her goal for 2020. And, uh, you know, it all gets only higher and higher for uh, what she wants to achieve as a pro. It's to be uh, winning some majors, which is a great goal. Her opponent on the screen right here, Kayla Cross from Canada. The match will be the same as yesterday, and we will see no more change. We have a lot of hair cover on the lines, and also we will have Hawkeye today. If you want to challenge, make it clear, say challenge, and stop immediately. Okay? And also we will have a 25 service clock, uh, probably will be on the screen. Do you have any questions? Details, please? Hats? Hats. So that was Clervy Gunaway winning the toss and electing to receive first. Bound to be a few nerves, Sophie. That, that's probably not a bad idea. Well, I mean, I think it's a good idea in the sense that on top of that, besides the nerves, the fact that they're playing indoors. So they're not used to the, you know, the light and uh, the changes, you know, in, in your eyesight when you toss that ball. So very smart move from uh, the American. And I mean, as I mentioned earlier on, she has played some big matches in her time, Clervy Gunaway. But uh, none more so than this one with regards to playing in this fabulous 6,500 all-seater capacity arena you know, at the uh, Shenzhen Bay Sports Centre. As I said, here's the two top seeds who have been able to come together, having come through the group stages. And got into the mix for this wonderful Future Stars event, which is got bigger and bigger. Both of these nations haven't been involved in previous years, but here we are with a, a Canadian and an American in the final. And they've certainly made use of being involved in it for the first time. Yeah, and I think it's wonderful to open it up because, you know, you're going to obviously get the masses and you can find talents, you know, everywhere, of course, in the world. And by opening it up, I think it's, it's really proved to be very good. The level has been absolutely amazing. This young woman right here has been showing some great tennis, very aggressive, likes to take the ball early, but uh, in her semi-final, she did mix up the pace and did uh, well to come through the uh, Australian. It was yeah, in the Taylor Preston, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly. And that was a tough one. It was mm. in three sets with the tie-break in the last set. She played an impeccable tie-break. Uh, good away with very little amount of unforced errors, was very aggressive on the, the key points earn that victory to be here today and think about what she's feeling right now on the court because behind <laughs> the Canadian there's this huge screen where you see yourself you know uh, 
on the screen right here. Look at that screen, and she's looking at this. You know, can you imagine what it feels like for this youngster who's never been in that situation before? It's almost a little easier for Kayla Cross, who's actually I looking agree. towards us. Yeah. Which, well, I mean, that might be tougher, to be honest, but we're... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's seeing us, but she's uh, caring about us. But I tell you what, that screen is one of the biggest screen I've seen on the uh, tennis courts. But uh, the Canadian Kayla Cross also uh, showing some great talent, lefty. She's very tiny. I mean, look at that. That frame is very small, but can she hit the ball? I mean, she's, for somebody who's so tiny, is able to really uh, prove that it doesn't mean anything. Once you accelerate your arm, you can produce a lot of, uh, a lot of pace Three in minutes. the ball. Yeah, and she uh, is ranked number one in Canada for under 14. She's 308 in the world uh, for her ITF ranking. She was the under 14s national champion, under 16s doubles national champion. She's uh, listed her goals as uh, being part of the Junior Fed Cup team in terms of her short-term goals, as well as making a Junior Grand Slam. And uh, long-term, becoming top 10 pro and hopefully winning a Grand Slam. They all say winning a Grand Slam, but I, I like the fact that she put short-term and long-term goals on the sheet of paper. They all got asked what their goals were, and most of them said number one in the future, but seems to be quite smart in terms of knowing what her short-term goals were. Yeah, and I love the fact that she's including the Fed Cup in that mix which means that she's a team player that she wants to represent her country it's uh, a big honor for her to be here as a canadian very proud of having the canadian flag on her back and you know she has somebody to look up up you know, with <laughs> andrescu who's been Too really nice. proving that she is able andrescu to bring some of the youngsters in the scene and the scene of tennis. I mean, it's fantastic to have such a great talent like Andrescu. It's like kind of like the locomotive in, in a train. They all start to follow. <laughs> and the amazing thing is, is that Clervy Conaway, who you would have thought there's all these amazing American tennis players, this is her favorite player, Bianca Andrescu, the Canadian. Yeah. yeah later I'm on, we've got the under 16s final, where we've got a Canadian in Annabelle Shu take onto the court, and she lists Serena Williams. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's strange in a way, but that doesn't surprise me because the, the game of Gunaway is also to use that slice backhand. And uh, I think if you want to replica a backhand right now on the tour, it's not a bad idea to look at, <laughs> at Andrescu's backhand. Well, it's always interesting, isn't it? In terms or of bodies. Hearing, for or that, bodies, yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and that is who Kayla Cross's favorite player is. And she said her favorite player is Ashley Body because she's got a similar game style to her game style. And, Clerby going away One saying herself minute. about Bianca Andreescu said I love her all court game style and her personality off the court as well, which I think it's always no nice to hear as well, knowing how to take Harry care of business on and, and off the court. I agree. 5-9, this young lady, I mean, she is already so tall and can definitely use that to her advantage on the serve. Opponent, I think it's 5-5, uh, five, five. Kelly Cross. So with this final, is it always about who deals with the situation the better in terms of this amazing arena, the, this court, as you say, playing indoors for the first time this week? Well, I think it's going to be who's going to deal with the nerves to begin with. The good thing is, you know, the format throughout the week was until the semifinals, they played first to four games with three all, uh, a, nine, a five point tie break, first to five. So very, very quick. You had to be ready very fast because that format with no ad scoring on top of that. So you had to be really warmed up getting on the court and uh, they did really well. Not, some of them not really uh, winning through, winning for love, for love in some of the matches. So, But uh, yesterday in the semifinal, we went to playing uh, in two out of three sets with the third set being a tie break. So that's also the format today. Yeah, it was full, full sets, wasn't it, for the semifinals? Full sets today for the final. So here we go, then, it's the under-14 Future Stars final. It's the sixth edition of this wonderful event. It's so inspiring to see these young players take to the court. And uh, Well, who will come out on top of this one? It is Kayla Cross from Canada, the young 14-year-old, up against the 13-year-old Clervy Gunaway of the United States. It was Gunaway who won the toss and elected to receive first. It'll be the Canadian to get this one underway. Sophie Amiak and myself, Pete Hodges, to talk you through.
15 love. When you have nerves, as these two players are bound to have nerves, what do you tend to do game star wise early on? Well, I think first is to really focus on trying to put the first serve in for, for Kayla and, and the return in for Claire V just being aggressive down the middle, maybe on the return, but on the second serve, putting a little bit more pace on it. Look at our position, Claire V being more inside the court on the second serve. I'm going to like the fact that Claire V is going to probably try to move inside the court and be aggressive, but I'd like to see some change of pace like she did yesterday in her semifinal against the Australian, just using the slice backhand, the high topspin forehand, and then mixing that with more pace from both wings. She's even Claire trying to be more aggressive of the bat here on the first serve of the left tee. And for Cross, I think it would be great for her to use that white serve here on the ad side with the left tee slice. Great to see. Nice bit of variation. From Kayla Cross there, but in a way dealing with it exceptionally well. Yeah, both of them trying to put more topspin on the forehand and raising a little bit the ball over the height of the net, get some depth, changing the pace also throughout the point. Inside out forehand missed by Cross. future is looking bright isn't it that's another excellent Four point for both of these players yeah I like the fact that uh, Kayla Cross is just like on top of things she knows when to accelerate she knows when to be patient and then moving forward she was about to take that in the air ah! Again, well, that's a super start for the Canadian we talked about the nerves but well, what a good game that was no double faults very few errors overall and an entertaining first game goes the way of the second seed and uh, well both of these players have had to work incredibly hard to get to this position not just be only to be selected to play at the uh, the WTA Future Stars finals but they've had to come through a group of either six or seven they had to win that group and uh, the groups were divided into the, the names of of course the, the eight players who have qualified for the uh, the WTA finals so they had Alina, Simona, Naomi, and Bianca. It was Kayla Cross who was in Alina. And uh, won 12 sets, dropped just the one set coming through that one. Whereas uh, Clervy was no, in no, no, Simona's no. group, didn't drop a, a set the whole way through. But as we mentioned earlier, did drop a set in the semi finals. But it's uh, been a lot of tennis played for both of these players to get here. Trigger. Yeah, that's the, that's her. You know, that's kind of like what she's trying to achieve. Just be a little patient, put a little roll on the ball higher to the back end of Claire, and then Kayla. Sorry, and then accelerate down the line. Just trying with a 
lower trajectory. This one a bit too low going down the line. Acceleration right here. It's coming much faster through yeah. the air. By the way, using tennis balls that are not been used yet, as Aimé, on the father of uh, Claire V, was on the screen. Aimé means love in uh, in French. So she has uh, has a Cameroon background. Fascinating already, isn't it? As in, you can understand Gunaway trying the, the deadly combination of power and touch, but cross alert to it. Yeah, I'm pretty amazed to find out that they're really able to perform that well, considering, you know, the conditions and how difficult it's to be in the final and indoors coming from outdoor. Of course, it's the same for both players, but still, they're adapting very well. Yeah, and they're both doing about the Fancy same kind of here. tactic, trying to just change the pace and height of the ball. And this time it's uh, Claire V having a little trouble on that high ball. Just to time it very well. Yeah, just a reminder that it is a sudden death or deciding point at juice. So these are a couple of break points for Kayla Cross. As we see uh, Steve Simon there looking on. Length from the previous yes. strike and that set Please up the forehand. Point, you can hear that receiver's choice. So this first deciding point of this future stars final will be decided by Cross. Good hitting once again yeah, from Gunaway yeah. and uh, the American able to wriggle out of that game. One so it gets one. herself on the board and it's a game apiece first set. Yeah, so we were talking about uh, the ball that they use here, which is that Trinity Wilson ball that is comes into a, a can that is all made of, uh, I think, cotton box and is re recyclable, which is a, a very first in the world of tennis. And, doing a little bit of a trial out and the ball is uh, last at least about three to four times longer than uh, any of the other balls that use normally 100% yeah, sustainable packaging as I say that I've got it in my hand yes I think that's great innovation and maybe it's the Love future it. right here also I haven't actually opened it. I opened mine and did, I did it have that new ball it, smell it's got the same Smell than the new ball. Are you a fan a of it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I, I you're a fan of new ball smell? I love it. Yeah. You know who's a fan of new ball smell, but <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, that's, uh, that's you know, it's. I'd love to try to hit with it. It's, uh, it sounds odd. It sounds almost like a feel like when you're hitting in a high altitude. That's what I heard from one of the coaches. and. Claire's not struggling to hit with it though so far. 59. The moment it is certainly Gunaway who is the, the more aggressive player, but Cross again doing a good job of just hanging with her during the rally, mixing up the, the height, the speed, the pace. It'd be interesting to see if those tennis balls are going to get used maybe in the future by the pro level. That shot oh. right here, the slice backhand down to the western and yeah, grip yeah. forehand of cross. Couldn't handle it. Have to hit it a lot quicker. That ball really skid on the surface, which we haven't talked much about the surface. It's apparently the players are saying it's slow, it's not that quick, but 
it just takes the spin. Sometimes the bounce is high, sometimes it's, and especially on the slice, might skid a little bit, which could advantage some of the slice backhand, like Ash Barty and Andrescu. Oh, well, missed it. Says he Beautifully. And I like that reaction from Gunnar Wait in terms of there wasn't much of a reaction. Well, first of all, yeah, she's very positive out there. And the fact that she went for it, I love the fact that she's aggressive on the serve of Cross. That's how she's going to win this match, by being aggressive. Cross. Again, Cross is able to come through. Uh, service cross game. By two games Quality two start. One. Entertaining tennis from these two future stars. It is the Canadian, though. He's in front again. 2 1 first set. Players in the dark. Let there be light, and there was light. Yeah, you have to acclimate really quick. I tell you, it's not that easy to go from dark to light like this. So hopefully they're both reacting well. This is why it's been such an impressive start from both players. Yeah, this is good tennis. I mean, the level is good. And Forster's not very high so far. I've heard a lot about both of these players in terms of what to expect, in terms of the quality of tennis they've been able to produce as young tennis players. But I have to say, I was expecting more nerves in the first three games, and I was expecting sort of both players to maybe struggle, but it hasn't happened so far. I see just why so many players connected with these two players are excited for them. Such a bright future. That's a wow. great shot. That's smart. You have to Big take kill. advantage of a shorter second serve. Moving forward into that ball. Really going down the line. Love that shot. Further point away from the server. You go to a straight line. Well, the other rule that we haven't mentioned 30, is that they play with the net. So if there's a let, there isn't a let, if that makes sense. So you could hear there the ball just nicked the net on the serve. But they've been playing it all week, so they should be used to it. Oh, beautiful. Great volley. Good technique. Racket head in front. Very, very firm at impact. And perfect placement.
kept her racket higher than the level of the net and impact. Excellent technique. Service hold this time. They're going away. We yeah, mentioned earlier on with Bianca Andreescu, with Kayla Cross in terms of an inspirational player from Canada, but there's a fair few coming through in the States right now. The likes of Anna Samova and Coco Goff. And now we're watching Gunaway. They could be pretty dominant in the next few years. Uh, it's going to be fascinating to see the next generation taking over this. You know, these two young ladies, I mean, they're not even 14 yet, so Coco Goff is the exception to, the extraordinary exception <laughs> to the rule. It's fantastic what she's been able to achieve. It's, you know, it's, it's great for the players to see this because it's pulling it's you killer. up and up. I was going to ask you, I mean, with that case, as in, have they got to also be a little bit careful of not looking to her too much and thinking, if they get to 15 and think, well, I haven't quite made it through yet, and not to, to panic and go at your own stage, so to speak. Yeah, I think that's when your team and your entourage is, uh, you know, coming in play to let you know that, you know, there's not that many wonder player. And that's a very extraordinary situation for a Coco Golf to, uh, to play the way she's been playing and to achieve what she's achieved this year, winning her first WTA tournament as well in singles. Already, I think, two titles in doubles. This players grow at different stages, of course, you know, both mentally and physically. That's so well played here. Cross court, lots of spin in the ball, pushed really across outside the court. Getting that short ball to put away. And that's where here, Claire V, in a way, should be attacking that return. A little bit of disappointment here. Across, she had an opportunity here. It's all about. Technique, body language went too quickly to the middle when she was hitting down the line, that forehand. Oh, that's just too good. She's timing it perfectly right now. Not easy to do. Take the ball like that, high ball too. Well, that was a certain volley. Love that technique on the forehand volley as well from cross. So the first break point comes and goes. Deciding point, receive a trace. It'll be another break point because, of course, it's a deciding point. It'll be uh, Gunaway's decision which side cross serves to. And looks like she's going to choose the juice side. Smart when you're playing a left handed player. Don't want to give him the angle on the ad side with that left paw. Second serve, let's see what she does here. It's a sweet strike off the forehand yeah. side, and we have our first break of serve in this under 14 Future no Stars no final. And it two. goes the way of the American, Clovey Gunaway. Leads 3 2.
as you can see, many of the uh, other competitors in the Future Stars tournament here watching this final. Casey Delacqua has been really helping the Australian players throughout the tournament. Had a chat a little bit with her yesterday as I was watching the semi final and really helping the Australian uh, youngsters. Casey very involved. So is uh, Alicia Malik, who's there it, also yeah. watching. And will be commentating this week and later on today. Yeah, the losing semi final has actually got a. A coaching session, didn't they? A private coaching session with Alicia. I believe she's on court right now, to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> she's out there giving some advice. So good, turning defense into attack, and again, a wonderful yeah, way on. to finish the point off. Oh, she's so smart, just hitting that volley cross court short. Right here, she's so across, was so behind the baseline, and there is no way the Canadian can get to that ball. Talking about Alicia Mollick, she's going to be a busy girl, and between this week and next week, and the following weekend with the uh, final of Fed Cup in Perth. Uh, and it's a good job you're separated in the, in the commentary <laughs> box, to be honest. Yeah, I've been already sending daggers <laughs> as I am going to be there to support the French team. 30-15. I, I can tell everyone it's been harmonious so far. Oh, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> friendly competition. Continuing to get inside the baseline and to play positive, aggressive tennis. I think that th that's the thing that I was, uh, I've been so impressed with as well. We saw her miss that backhand up the line right on top of the net. And uh, there was no reaction to it. it. Seems like she understands the way she wants to play. And she's going to have success. And finally, a good first serve here. 40, 30. She's giving way too many points right now. The Canadian cross, she needs to find the court again, especially on first serves. Try to go back down the middle. Be more aggressive maybe on the second serve. Clearly able to uh, consolidate the break. What a return. Right down the feet of Cross, who's trying and attempting to come right behind the serve, serve and volley. Didn't work out really well. Now she's speeding the game way too fast. The Canadian needs to take her, her time. Maybe a bit annoyed. Just long. Doesn't seem too many holes in Gunaway's game though right now. Well, I love the fact that she's able to counter drop shot here. Great touch. Just very good feel, very good hands. Frustration is mounting on the Canadian side. And that's the serve that she needs to use much more often. I mean, you have a, a lefty paw. And 
it's a big advantage in tennis. I keep saying it over and over. I'm sure a lot of people are very tired of me saying it, but let me tell you, when you have three out of four game points played on the ad court, that's the kind of serve you need to use. Game points being the most important points in games. Unfortunately, the first serve percentage is very low for cross. And uh, by that token, you can see how aggressive the American gets on the second serve. We'll have a chance here for a break. There's another break. Game Things over. going the way of Gunaway right now. Opens up a double break lead in this opening set. It's the American who leads by five games to two first set. Miss Cross has requested to see her coach. give her easy point. Does that make sense? If she wins, she has to play full on. Okay, be tough on the defense. Okay, be a little bit more close to the court. Okay, because the ball is quite shallow. Okay, be, be there for the defense and finish her swings. Okay, stay heavy to her back end. Stay heavy, push her back, don't let her step in. But hit the ball, okay? And relax. Okay, Sorry. we're not that far. Okay, but you have to fight. Okay, got it? Okay. They're not too long, the breaks. But uh, Kayla Cross deciding to call her coach onto the court. And the, the general information there was make Gunaway win. So don't give too many cheap points away. Make it tough. Go a little bit higher to the backhand side to push her back. Get her to stay relaxed out there. What did you make of what was said there, Sophie? Well, I would have loved to have a little more of a tactic game, more like uh, to the point. I would say any second serve, attack the serve, go down the line. Um, put your first serve in when it's come, you know, ho hopefully you're going to break here. And it's only, you know, a break or two here. So I like think more to the point mm -hmm. where it's clearer, uh, where you have really something to really work on right away. I think it was too vague. I understood the, uh, the side of it, 30, though, 15. where she's talking about, because it does just feel like the match is getting away from her right now. So in terms of just, OK, look, make it tougher for Gunaway to win. Yeah, the reason it's getting away is because also the first serve percentage is very low for Cross at 44%, all, only a first serves in, and she's not being aggressive enough on second serves. 40, and now, Claire V. Gunaway is getting herself more confident in the serve. It's been very impressive from the American. Barely put a foot wrong in this opening set and has three set points. Another thing that was talked about is and the one thing that I like was to go board to the back end of Gunaway. That's probably where she's not hitting as many winners, but I saw a lot of unforced errors from Gunaway yesterday off the forehand where she was backing off the forehand and hitting the ball, tracking back instead of staying really low and going forward. So and that will secure the first set. An excellent set of tennis from the 13-year-old Clervy Gunaway. Just seemed to get games, better and better as it went on. Has dealt with the nerves of this fabulous situation superbly well. Deservedly takes the opening set by six games to two.
Plenty of the, uh, the future stars players watching on. And I'd imagine they will stay in position for the under 16s final, which will follow this under 14s final. Second set, uh, Cross. and Reese Brandmeier. Another battle between Canada and USA. Feels like a Fed Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Be a junior Fed Cup here. forward cross but Lovely. with the volley I mean going forward into this second set you mentioned the fact that the first serve percentage was low other than that what do you feel Kayla Cross needs to do well I think she needs to slow down right now she's uh, a little bit annoyed by missing and you see the attitude and the body language But I love the initiative that she's trying love to come that. forward. The problem is she has to believe in it. And the body language is definitely not showing that. For a good way, it's just to stick with the tactic, keep being aggressive. Oh. Nice. Yeah, that's love the uh, return that been really getting her into that position in this final from this last week just being very aggressive in the second serve on cue four break points for Gunaway <laughs> it's a fifth yeah. straight game no, for no, the yeah. American another clenched fist and you have Fair to say game. Sophie is in I mean I've been impressed with pretty much everything about Gunaway so far, but in terms of her body language, it just seems like she's been able to remain calm. There's been no over-elaborate celebrations. It, it just seems like business time for her in terms of, you know, the way she's going through the whole, whole process. Yeah, and very level. I mean, look at the, those numbers. Five winners for 10 unforced, one unforced more for Cross, but it's really the first serve percentage that was uh, hurtful for Cross. Only 44%, 67 and then zero out of two break point converted for cross made the difference as well on the chances that he had and uh, on the two uh, game point that were played at deuce it was good away was able to uh, secure those really important crucial points with the no ad scoring So here's a chance for us to stop the rot position in this game. Gunway lives in uh, Washington, D.C. But she's also trained with uh, the Patrick Moretto Blue Academy down in the south of France, in my hometown, or near my hometown of Nice, Love, and Antibes, and Sophie Antipolis. So I'm sure Patrick Moretto Blue himself is seeing a lot of uh, future and great future for this this player it's a fair few decent players in that academy it's a beautiful sight absolutely incredible down there 15 40. what he's been able to uh, achieve and like really one of the best probably tennis uh, academy and center in europe without a doubt That's a 
first two break points saved. Still two more to negotiate. Feel good away. That might yeah, change cool. things. Cross able to win a first game One in game six. Off. And finally gets a break of serve as well. Fantastic backhand. Yeah, that was a great serve, but uh, the approach here didn't do enough with it. Bit too short. Still have to pass. And uh, Cross really with a fabulous backhand. Point of contact and good reaction right here. A lot more positive. Ooh. Good try here. Now remember that uh, there's something that they really have probably never used is that they could go to the challenge. None of them asked for the challenge. This one was wide anyway, but still. Oh, just missed. It's good foot speed to get there. Do you think she's back in the match? Then she throws that double fault here. Oh, that's smart from uh, Gunaway just uh, going diagonal towards the bounce of the ball, cutting the angle of that slice serve. Very well done from the American. Another chance for a break. That's another yeah, superb yeah. return as Gunaway breaks once again. Yeah, Three breaks to again. serve in a row to start set two. And it's Gunaway who edges in front by two games to one in the second set. Still a fair amount of tennis to be played in this final, but things looking good right now for Flavie Gunaway. Ooh, oh. she wanted way too much. Love 15. How about overhitting that ball? Just doesn't have to get that close to the line. And look how far the Canadian was. At least power is not something she's missing. <laughs> <laughs> she's a NJTL participant. So uh, Clovey Gunaway, very well supported by the uh, USTA Foundation. Brilliant bit of counter punching from Kayla Cross. Yeah, that down the line shot really did it all. When she redirected right here, that put really completely uh, going away on the defensive. Not able to come up with the pass here. Oh. 
can see the reaction after that shot from Cross. No, these are big moments in this match. Far wide. Trying to press and looking away under pressure. I don't think she's understanding the height of the toss here. She's much taller than she thinks because that toss was very low. Five foot nine. Needs to toss that ball a little higher. Again, just missing those three shots in that game so from Cross. That three games to one. Each of them were just an inch or two wide. Feeling like she has to be the aggressor here because Gunaway has been the one to dictate most of the play. And this time is able to back up the break for a 3-1 lead second set. And as I say, so he's still a long way to go in this final, but just how impressed have you been with Gunaway so far in, in terms of when you look into the future, as in the talent seems to be there. Without a doubt, I mean, oh. the talent is there. I mean, she's Fair only killer. 13 years old. I mean, you have to think that... There's a long, long hole for her, but still, you know that she can hit the ball hard. She has good technique. Could probably work on some That's of the technique enough. on the serve a little bit more. But uh, yeah, the future is bright without a doubt. And she has a presence on the court. And we know, and we've seen that from Probably the best player ever to play the game, Serena Williams. What a presence she has been on the court. So intimidating. The right play, though. Forward, yeah. Execution not the best, but uh, it is uh, without a doubt what she needs to be doing out there on that ball. And look at Cross already ready to hit and serve. Servant volley here. Maybe a chance to hold that love. Nope. I think that was uh, maybe a jigsaw. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it was. <laughs> She's saying shush, Sophie. <laughs> so sorry. Of course, for, for Kayla Cross, I mean, we, we were talking earlier about players developing at different ages. You, you still feel growing wise. There's a bit to go, physicality wise. Wonderful inside out forehand. Just so good. And the movement around the ball as her dad, Amy, watching on, on his right. Her uh, agent, Fabien Paget from France. She has an agent, yes. Out. Oh, has that Game. caught the line? No, it hasn't. And even though Kayla Cross was up 40 love in the game, she finds herself no, broken really again. Games to one. And it's uh, well, an even stronger lead for Gunaway. And another she time, a double break up. 4 1, second set. Another time, a deuce winning that uh, game point.
time. Uh, good to see them having some fun in the stands. Of course, the, uh, the main event, the WTA Finals, gets underway later on this evening. In fact, this afternoon. Ceremony starts 3.45 p.m. local time, and then the first match of the Shiseido Shenzhen WTA Finals will be Zarka against Kvitova. That'll be followed by Barty against Bencic, and then some doubles action. We've got Shea and Stritzover against Stoza and Junk, and Dabrowski and Zhu will follow against Kretjakova and Siniakova. Packed day. But first, we're enjoying this Dave one, and Gunnar. right now, Clovey Gunaway is certainly enjoying herself. I'll say so. She's uh, really enjoying not only her serve speed but also those uh, swing volleys. Finally, to put this one away with a little bit shorter angle. Turn from cross. Yeah, she's got to take some chances on the return every time that she gets a second serve. I think she needs to be more aggressive if she wants to come back in this match. And uh, moved around that ball very quickly. Yeah, this is such a big event, as we keep saying about the future stars and how hard they've had to work to get into this situation. So. <laughs> cross will want to, to make this as tight as possible for good away, just to see if there are any nerves for the American. Fantastic play, lovely variation throughout the point, 40. and a fine finish. Yeah, and a good defense from the American right here with the slice forehand. And how great of a shot that was to finish after that at the net with that overhead. Not an easy overhead. Finds the angle. Another fine overhead, and game. Kayla Cross just saying this match isn't done just yet. Gets one of the two no, breaks no, back that she five, needs. Games, two, two. That's probably the best game that she's played in this match. Yeah, and coming forward at the net and showing that she has quality play not only from the baseline but also very well done. Volley deep here, and the overhead again winning the point with a great angle. She's finding herself with her back against the wall it might just mean that she plays with a little more freedom. We saw that in that previous game. But can she back it up on serve? That's the big question. It's not the way she would have wanted to start this service game. Third double fault Love in the match, second of the set. Well, she's doing better on putting the first serve in. 69% of the second set that was so low in the first, but she's only winning 27% of the point on that serve, that first serve, so not enough. Yep, maybe a little bit hesitating on coming in for the American on the uh, shot prior to that one. She had a chance to take that ball in the air, didn't choose to come forward. Oh. 30, 50. Yeah, a cheap point off the first serve.
I don't know if you noticed, but no ball change here in this match because of the fact that those balls will last much longer. Game so two games in a row for Cross. And right back in this second set. No, no, he leads by four games to First three. First time in the set that she's been able to hold serve. I'm sure our coach is a bit happier with this performance over the last couple of games. Good away though, still leads. Fourth three. a little earlier, Sophie, that Gunaway is a player who's already got an agent. It's quite amazing, isn't it, in terms of how early it happens to these youngsters these days. It seems to be getting younger and younger. Now picked up by agents. But it's good that they are able to be managed in terms of... There he is, right here on the right. Yeah. Fabien Paget was changed a lot. I did it with him last night, and very interesting guy. His company is very interested in the future, and uh, going with being sustainable, and uh, really trying to improve within his company, the quality, and uh, I think, you know, it's a different mindset which is great. Forty love. Well, not much of a resistance here from Cross, unfortunately. As she was getting closer to get back into this match. Three chances here for the American for a 5-3 lead. Four chances, I should say. Got a little lucky. Game, no, no. It did well just to attempt the pass because it was a, a fine no, point from Cross. And it's a love service hole for Gunaway, and she is a game away from the title. Now she got much closer to that line on that backhand. That was kind of like a similar pass that she attempted earlier in the match, but this one didn't miss it. Got a little lucky, but uh, you know what? She really went for it and got rewarded. So serving to stay in this contest, Cross 3 5. So again, we, we've referenced Gunaway's attitude throughout this match in terms of when she's missed balls, there's been no reaction. We haven't seen too much animation with regards to when she's been hitting winners, but she's recognized the importance of these games, and now we're hearing a bit more positive energy from her. Great serve, changing the direction as lefty going to the tee with a flatter serve. It's good to know that Cross is able to do so. Not always easy. Your favorite serve with a lefty is to go wide short in the box. There's a second serve here. Look at Gunaway's attitude on that. Yep, very aggressive. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's another superb point from Cross again, going yeah, back in behind. Thing. Smart play when you're playing someone who's that tall, 5'9", playing behind the players, a very, very good tactical play, and it worked. Yeah, a little frustrated with herself there. Big moments. A little bit of a cheap point. Oh. Oh. Yeah, just got a little muddled, got it a bit too tight to that ball cross. Can get herself out of the way, backpedaling. And it's two. Championship points for Clervy Gunaway. Oh. Maybe just a few nerves with that Move. forehand. A little bit eager. Yeah. <laughs> or over hitting that one. Just to take her time. Mm. Well, survives cross. cross and is able to hold serve and would at least ask the question of Clervy going to wait as to whether the American can serve out this match and serve it out for the title. It is going to though who leads by set to love and by five games to four. Time. Bang on an hour. It's been thoroughly entertaining. Full of quality, this under-14's Future Stars final. And it's reached its climax, perhaps, for Gunaway. Oh. We had two championship points in the, the previous game. Can she... Put that to the back of her mind, serving for the title now. And that's not the way she would have wanted to start. Love 15. Clearly some nerves coming into play. Yeah, I think that was the first game point, you know, when he came to 40 all with the Noad scoring that Cross was able to finally win. Out of about four of them, all went on the side of the American. Excellent tennis, keeping her foot to the gas, team. Kayla Cross. Yeah, she's now the one dictating the point and inside the baseline. Just seems from 4-1 down in this set, she has loosened up and been able to dictate far more often. Oh, it's great tennis again. 15, 40. She's been really successful coming forward to the net. And again, showing off with that attack right here. Swing volley. 
better better attitude right here. Well, makes no mistake. That's uh, a nice response 30, from Gunaway. Talked about the quality of this match, but it seems to have gone up to another level in this game. Yeah, definitely both of them raising their game. Was trying to do the right do. thing, trying to be positive, but just didn't trace. quite catch it right. And it will be a third championship point to Gunaway. Two double faults in the game, and once Five again, the deciding shot. point goes the way of Kayla Cross, and three championship points have now come and gone for Clervy Gunaway, who has been so impressive throughout the entirety of this match, but again, the nerves perhaps getting the better of her. Take nothing away from Kayla Cross. She has hung in there and has got back to five all in this second set. Yeah, just started to relax when she was down 4-1 and being more aggressive. Dictating the point a little bit more, coming to the net as well has been working for Cross. There she is again. Fifth, you know. Fifth point one at the net in this set. Six uh, point one overall in the match when she came forward, but definitely a change, a big change in this second set. Now trying to serve in volley also here. She's like, you know what? It's working. I'm going to keep coming in. <laughs> That's very smart. Well aware of things. Well, again, that one just dipping down. And just worry with uh, Gunaway here, whether she's just starting to rush and almost try too hard. No real negative reaction, which is good to see. Ah! It's Cross who has the momentum right now. Four, what a turnaround this has been. Well, for the first time in this second set, Cross Kayla Cross games, has the lead, points. and you can understand just why her coach is smiling. Having saved three championship points, it is Kayla Cross who's now a game away and taking us to a, a match tie break. Leads 6 5. so often talk in this wonderful sport about being able to stay in the present. Can Gunaway do that here? Cross 
Making life difficult, but credit to Goodaway there. Had to reset, didn't panic. Great reaction again from the American, just knowing how important that is. That first point. Good defense, though, from Cross. father on the side which I was surprised that she didn't call in on this changeover and you think that she uh, was up and point away three four times to win the match well, you gotta say the first two points have been impressive in this game in terms of clearly feeling like she knows what she needs to do maybe felt she didn't need the advice from her father that's the right play poor execution poor unfortunately Going to the highest part of the net, you have to put a little more top spin and a lot of high action on that ball. At least keep your racket head at the same level of the ball. That's brilliant. Game, no, no. Opening up the court, and this time finding Saves, the winner. Game's all. And what a game that was from Gunaway when you consider everything that had happened before those three championship points the fact she'd served for the match as well talked about staying in the present it's very showing, much able to do that there it's showing a lot of character from this young woman you gotta love that so it'll be a seven point shootout to settle this second set Just long, it's unfortunate. Quick foot Draw. speed from Gunaway, but Cross just doing enough with the volley. But incidentally, if Cross is able to win this uh, seven point shootout, it will be a 10 point shootout to decide the match. Great move from the American. I mean, five foot nine, she's moving really well out there. It's impressive. going to play the same way the tie break that she played yesterday in the third set going away against the Australian I tell you she was spot on not giving too many points being aggressive putting a lot of first serve in and returning on second serve being really on top of everything and here she is again very aggressive Three, on the second one. serve. Okay. I mean, it seems like she's really uh, have knowledge of what to do in the important moments, except when she had those four match point, really. But 3-1 uh, here for the American. That's close. I would have asked for three, two. definitely the Hawkeye on this one. I'm not sure they remember that they have yeah. <laughs> that opportunity. He yeah, hasn't done it. I'm saying ignorance is bliss, so maybe uh, that will help going away. right now no, no, no. gonna wait and again can see the finish line remember it was up a double break in this second set at 4-1 surfer at 5-4 had two match points as well at 5-3 the 
He's already had three championship points, but you wouldn't know that looking at the way that she's played since going 6-5 down. I love the mentality of going away. Just very positive throughout the match. A lot of players at that age would have probably been down on themselves and none of that. That's terrific play. Five, two. It was an awkward Five, first volley, just about got her body out of the way. Yeah, she chose to go with the forehand volley. That should have been a back end every day. Look at how she's going around <laughs> that ball. Lucky that she made it. Had an agent happy. Achilles Hill really in this second set. No. It's a, a third double fault. In fact, a fourth double fault in this set, a fifth of the match. And it's more championship points for Clervy Gunnawak. <laughs> well, remember yeah, the name, so Clervy Gunnawak. What a performance two from the 13 year old. Six, two, seven, six. And the American who. Played a fantastic first set. Looked like it was going to win this pretty comfortably in straight sets. Got a great comeback from Cross. Made it very interesting, but Gunaway was able to hold her nerve and stay in the present. And I think we're going to see a lot more from this young player.